Hey everybody, it's Tim with Grossmaster666, bringing you a quick little channel update. Been a while. Uh, first thing up, I finished my Greek cavalry from my big Greek army. And this is one of the units. There we go. I really like these horses. I like the, the Victrix. Cavalry models. I like the way they turned out. Um, the leopard pelts. I'm not sure my technique is so good. I'm missing something where the black and the yellow. I'm gonna have to work on that. Is this? I've, I've watched other videos, other people doing them. I just didn't get it. I just need to practice more on it. Um, like here, here's another example. A couple of those pelts. I'm not so sure I'm I'm happy with the way they turned out but they're okay from a distance I'll just make sure everybody's at a distance um, so as you can tell on these the second unit oh dropped it. second unit I based them much more traditionally on the two models on a on a base and I did that um, for a specific reason that I like that maybe sometime in the future there'll be a different sort of gaming system and I'll, I'll want, want to use a larger unit of cavalry or something and that way I'll be able to place in a few models at a time or, and gives me some variety like if I'm going to have to use a larger movement tray to put all those bases on or something that's just just the way I, th I think in, on, in terms like that uh, so the Greeks are pretty much done. The only thing I'm going to do is probably go back at a later date and add some Greek archers to it. Um, I should never say that it's done, but, you know, there's still, you know, siege machines, you know, catapults and scorpions and all that kind of stuff to, to mess around with. Um, but I'm going to be done with the, that part of the, uh, the project for a while. Uh, I'll get back to it sometime. <laughs> um, next thing up is I went and watched a game of Song and Fire and Ice. Some friends of mine were playing, and I really enjoyed it. And I broke down and got the box. So, yes, I've found myself a new addiction. And I will be starting painting that uh, fairly soon. Uh, this time of year is very hectic for me with my work, and I, I don't know how much I'll get done for over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I just, I'm not going to do an unboxing of the box sets and stuff. Other people have done that already. I, if you need to do that, you can find that. But I've already opened them up anyway and rifled through them. But I do like it. Um, there are some elements of the game that are kind of common now with, uh, what's becoming the the big battle games buying entire units instead of individual models having some sort of uh, external tactical decision making cards and sort of stuff like that and then with this one it has um, like in Saga you have a battle board for each um, army uh, well in this you have a uh, kind of a a generic sort of board in which you put these you you can use um, those uh, characters to activate certain parts of that so um, that'll be interesting uh, I was interested in some of the tactical combinations that you can use I always like the theme uh, I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones I love I read all the books prior to the to the uh, TV series coming out um, obviously there's things in the book that they couldn't get to in the TV series so I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to be doing things but that's going to be uh, what I'm going to be painting on mostly because that's going to be probably uh, one of the, the hot gaming things going on right now um, at the gaming store that I go to so be interested in getting a, a few games into that. I'll let you know how that goes. But I will be working on my uh, 
pike and shot stuff too. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm going to do something I don't normally do. Normally when I get on a project, I run that entire project until it's done. This time I'm going to try to give myself breaks with different units, you know, finish a little bit of one project and then, then kind of cleanse the palette as it were and do a different sort of, a completely different sort of model, a completely different sort of unit. Been doing a lot of historical over the last few years with a smattering of 40k and that sort of stuff in there. And so now I think with this Song of Fire and Ice, I'll be um, turning around and then, and then adding in the pike and shot. Because I have, I have mounds of pike and shot to do. And I'd, it may take a lot longer than a year to get through all that. But I'm looking forward to it. And that's about it. And I will check in with everybody next. I've been watching some videos. People doing some great stuff. Um, just haven't had time with my work and stuff to sit down and you know, leave comments and stuff like that. But I have been catching up on a few things and uh, um, I want to let everybody know that I am watching and uh, everybody's doing some great stuff. So hope all your projects are going well and I will see you in probably a week or two. I won't say every week, but maybe a week or two and I'll let you know how the Song of Fire and Ice stuff is going. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye.